Why, hello there guys, my name is Fan News Turtle, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on the uh, bullet waves or gun waves on this edit right here on the shot. Boom, those little displacement waves. So I'll get into the tutorial really quickly because it's pretty easy. So I just have an example here. Basically, it's just waves off the Barrett, and let's get into the tutorial. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Okay, I'm going to make a new solid first of all, and I'm just going to call this displacement. And I don't care if I spell it wrong, okay? And now I'm just going to trim it up. Okay, turn this off. Now I'm just going to mask out the gun. And I'm not going to make the mask accurate. That's because when I add the displacement effect to make it like um, go off the gun, it only takes the shape of it. So it takes the basic shape, not the pixels. So if I add, uh, like it won't, it really won't make a difference. You won't notice it at all. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, so whoopsies. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the mask. Sorry, not that. I'm going to go to M, then duplicate the mask. Set the second mask to subtract and hit MM. And mask expansion, put this to negative um, 42. That's, I don't know, I like 42. It's a cool number. Okay, now let's feather this to uh, three pixels each. So, you know, it's a little bit cleaner. And I'm just going to add a fast blur. And I'm going to put this to like 22-ish repeat edge pixels. And I can add a glow to like feather it out even more. Okay, and I can just tone the, the intensity down to like 0.5. Okay, so we're good for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe the mask path. Oh, actually, I'm going I'm to delete this mask for now. And I'm just going to go keyframe the mask path on the first one. Go over... 10 frames, 10, 20 frames, depends on how many you want to do. Okay, click on the mask, right clip, right click on the clip, on the mask part of the clip, and then go to mask shape, and then reset to ellipse, ellipse, I don't even know how to pronounce that word properly. Okay, so now just trim this up. Now what I'm going to do is bring the circle out, so just make it bigger. Whoopsies, I have no idea. I have no idea how that worked out. Okay, so now I can just play with this stuff. By the way, the circle does not have to be perfect. Not even like close to somewhat visibility of perfect. Okay, so now we're done. Now what I'm gonna do is duplicate the mask as I said and subtract it and hit MM and negative 42 because 42 is a cool number. Okay. So now you can see we have a bit of the thing still, but that doesn't matter. Just get rid of that, duplicate this, like the layer, bring it over, and then just keep duplicating, and just keep duplicating, and keep duplicating until you're satisfied with the amount of waves. So each one of these is a wave, okay? So now I'm just gonna pre-compose this. So once you have all the waves that you want, just pre-compose it. Okay, now I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer. Bring that right there. And I'm gonna bring this one right there as well. On the adjustment layer, search up um, displacement map in your effects and presets. Okay, just drag that on quickly. Go to alpha for the hor horizontal displace and for the vertical, set it to alpha as well. Then displacement map layer, set it to your pre-comp. Okay, turn off your pre-comp. And now if we look through, it just has these nice little gentle waves. What we can do now, if you want it to, you can like, extend this a lot like you can really do whatever you want with it but if you notice I'm just gonna go here yeah, if you notice um, if you go through it has black bars and you're like ew it didn't have that there a second ago so what you can do to get rid of that duplicate your displacement map layer delete the displacement map and go to effects and presets type and transform okay and then just set the scale to 103 and there you go it's completely gone so yeah, this effect looks best on uh, like a twixtered clip. Not really good when you're going like fast to motion. So yeah, so that's about it for the tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to say thank you for 1337 subs. If you guys don't know what that means, it means elite. So now I'm officially elite, which is pretty cool. I got a screenshot of it just like the 1,000 subs. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys on, uh, I don't know. I'll see you guys sometime soon. Okay, anyways, see you guys, and goodbye.